So today we're talking about loading and unloading. We're going to talk about loading and unloading into the yielding region. Now I said most design, most engineering design, we're not, we're trying to stay out of the yielding region. Uh, but when we get into the yielding region and we let go, then it unloads. So, you know, we stress it, we stress a little bit more, we stress a little bit more, stress a little bit more. We stress it enough. And then when we let go, remember that it, it unloads at the same slope. And so now we're at this point O prime, we'll call it. So this distance that you end up with, that is the permanent set. Right, that is a permanent set. How much it bounces back from being stretched, right? We stretched it to, you know, 10 inches, but it came back by two inches. It recovered two inches, and so it's now it's only permanently stretched by eight inches. Uh, the amount that it recovers is the elastic recovery. Let's write down a few things uh, in our notes. So if we load, if we load into the yielding region, it will unload with a slope of E. The strain that is recovered, right? The strain that it, it bounces back is the elastic recovery. The strain left or the strain, you know, that is not recovered is the permanent set or the permanent deformation. So this is our, I like to call this our unloading triangle. The unloading triangle has a slope of E. When this whole stress, this stress is let go, the base of that um, unloading triangle is the elastic recovery and the amount left over is the permanent set. So how about this? The strain, when loaded, so this strain right here is equal to the permanent set plus the elastic recovery, right? So if you know when it was loaded up here, it had this strain of epsilon, you can calculate the elastic recovery and what's left over is the permanent set. Okay, if we were to, to do this up here, load it up here and unload it. If we were to reload it again, it would be starting at that point right there. All right, and it would load up at a slope of E and then it would go back and it would hit the old stress strain curve. So it's almost like we kind of erase this portion and we have a new stress strain curve. So there are benefits to actually, and this is strain hardening, right? There's benefits to actually loading something, stretching it, and unloading it because now you have a new stress strain curve and this new sigma y might be larger than your old sigma y. So now my new sigma y is, is right there as opposed to, you know, right here with the old diagram. So anyway, Loading something into the yielding region and unloading it is a way to create a new stress strain curve. A lot of times now you might have a larger yield stress, but 
you're closer to fracture, right? Less ductility, right? Listen up, guys. So, you 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 know it's it's a give and take, right? You have a larger yield stress, but less ductility. Okay. All right. Let's practice. Let's practice. But I'm gonna skip skip about three problems. All right. The main thing is we're loading it into the yielding region and we're unloading it right there. Yes. 